Hi, implement the priority queue by using heap data structure. Here we are going to use the heap with the two properties. One is a structure property that should satisfy the binary uh, tree structure property and heap property uh, that means uh, parent and child node should be compared after inserting the node. Uh, binary heap is generally preferred for the priority queue implementation because which is providing better performance compared to arrays and linked list because uh, array and linked list uh, are taking order of n when you are searching the node for deletion or insertion for searching right uh, the operations in the priority queue are inserting the node into the uh, priority queue and uh, find out in, find out the maximum element from the uh, priority queue uh, which is having uh, maximum priority and deleting the element from the priority queue by using iteration and uh, return the element which is having the maximum priority and if you want to change the priority uh, then we can apply the change priority operation here uh, we will see before entering into the uh, priority queue about binary heap types there is two binary heaps available max heap in the max heap uh, the uh, node will be uh, in the root uh, is highest priority so here the maximum number will be available so the maximum priority is available in the uh, 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 in the uh, root of the tree then its child is having the uh, low priority value so here is also uh, the low priority values available here so like that uh, it will be arranged in the descending order right so when you are looking in the array view so that will be this is the nodes index index of the nodes so 1 uh, 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so these are the indices so when you are arranging the nodes in the form of a table it will be available in this indices so here always it is maintaining the heap priority that heap uh, heap property the heap property is a parent value always greater than its children so that is about the max heap and also in the min heap the smallest element uh, will be available in the root the here the smallest element will get the high priority in the min heap you look at that parent value always less than the it children so here uh, 6 is uh, less than its uh, uh, children 14 and 10 so it will be arranged in the form of ascending order in the table so indices will be arranged in this format so indices of the nodes also given like this so uh, here uh, if you want to use the min heap then uh, it uh, the minimum element will be available at the uh, at the parent node and if you are using the max heap the maximum value larger value will be available in the parent node here we are going to create the priority queue by using the uh, heap data structure First, we will use a heapify um, uh, process which is used to build a tree uh, whenever we are inserting the node in the leaf by using the structure property. After insertion, we should uh, check is it satisfying the heap property. Heap property in the sense the parent node should be compared with the child node based upon the uh, heap uh, uh, type. Here, we are going to use the max heap uh, data structure to uh, to create the priority queue so here uh, when you are using the max heap the parent node should be always maximum when comparing with its children so uh, like that uh, we, when we are applying the uh, heap data uh, heap data structure to create the key we will uh, add the leaf nodes in the place of uh, i'm in the place of n by 2 from the n by 2 right so here uh, from the n by 2 plus 1 onwards until n will be the leaves so you look at that here we are having the five five 
nodes in the heap in the priority queue this is the priority queue now right so here five nodes are there in the priority queue uh, based upon the heap data structure so n by 2 from the n by 2 to the n are uh, leaf nodes here five is the n n by 2 will be 2 right so here uh, from the 2 to uh, 2 to 5 right n by 2 is here 5 so from the uh, after the 2 to 5 right so n by 2 plus 1 right n by 2 plus 1 so 3 to 5 will be the leaf node 3 4 5 are leaf nodes so now i am going to insert the new node uh, 6 16 once you are uh, up, uh, inserted the 16 your heap property is not satisfied here our max heap property is parent node should be greater than child but here 16 is the child which is less than the parent which is the less than the i mean our parent node is less than the child parent node is less than the child so we have to apply the heap property by using the heap data structure here we will check this uh, parent node with the uh, left child and also right child so whichever is greater uh, value that will be uh, transfer into the uh, parent i mean swap with the parent so here we will use this algorithm here left node and right node are uh, checked by using the index value here this is i uh, the left node will be 2i right node will be 2i plus 1 index so we have given here then we will check the uh, array of uh, left node greater than array of i so here uh, you take this one uh, so we are starting from the n by 2 n by 2 is here 2 so 5 by 2 equal to 2 so the second index we are taking this is the second index so from the second index when you are checking the right so a of le is here uh, a of le is here 2 uh, 10 right greater than a of i a of i is here look at that uh, a of i is uh, a of i is here uh, 14 but when you are checking this this node right this node we have to take here left node will be i uh, 2i okay left nodes this is the i second index is the i look at that this is the i value so i is now 2 i is now 2 so here uh, the this subtree will be considered so i is 2 so 2i will be 4 2i plus 1 will be 5 right so a of le a of le is a of le is here fourth index so a of le is 8 greater than uh, a of i is 10 which is false once it is false it will come into the uh, else portion here i index is um, the uh, 2 right so largest is s of now 2 now again we are checking uh, the right index which is less than or equal to n yes i 5 less than or equal to 5 then when we are checking a of r a of r in the sense here uh, 5 is the a, uh, 5 is the r so a of r is 16 greater than largest value available in the index 2 is 10 so this is true so if it is true the largest index is uh, r index what is the r index value 5 this is the r index so now we are largest not equal to i yes largest is now here 5 not equal to the index value i value is here or uh, 2 i value is here 2 which is calculated here so now the largest 5 not equal to 2 yes it is true if it is the true we are going to swap a of i comma a of largest what is the a of i a of i is the 10 then a of largest is the 16 so both are going to swap so that's what we are going to uh, do in this uh, process after inserting 16 uh, we are going to swap so before that when you are using the uh, insert operation in max heap uh, uh, the heap is growing by adding each element uh, then shifting the parent that means we are applying the max heapify uh, to um, uh, change the uh, i mean to apply the uh, heap property to satisfy the heap property so that's what we have seen in the previous slide by using the algorithm after inserting 16 so we have to apply the heap property uh, um, to swap it so here after swapping uh, our structure will be like this okay so six first 16 is swapped with 10 so 16 is 
swap, swapped with the 10 so now you will get the structure like this so then now again the uh, parent value is lesser than the uh, child value so we are swapping here this is uh, swapping the um, 16 comma 14 so after swapping the 16 comma 14 so now 16 is coming as a parent so here so now it is satisfying the heap property so now uh, after insertion uh, we have to check the heap property now it is satisfied the heap property so now our priority queue is looking like this so here highest priority value at the root second highest priority is in the uh, children second highest priority is in the uh, children right so like that we have to keep on uh, we keep on uh, apply the heap property and the structure property uh, whenever we are inserting the value and deleting the value so uh, here uh, based upon the algorithm first we will pass the number and uh, location so here uh, location is here we, we are passing the uh, 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 location of that node if location is greater than zero then the parent node parent node we are finding that location is uh, here this is the location from the table we are passing so location minus one by two that is the n minus one by two that is the parent place okay so when you are taking the tree right so parent node will be in the n by two place one two three uh, four five so for this fifth node my location is fifth means then uh, n by two plus one n by two is uh, n by two is, uh, is the parent so n by two is here or uh, five by two uh, equal to 2.5 so floor value is the uh, parent so this is the parent so that's why we are using this calculation the number will be if it is less than or equal to array of parent node that means number we are going to insert uh, insert new new newly we are going to insert that is less than the parent node we can arrange that uh, number into the location 5 right uh, then we can return otherwise uh, we have to assign the parent node into the location uh then parent node is assigned parent node is assigned into the uh, location here that index index is assigned to here finally we are assigning the uh, you look at that parent node parent node is uh, assigned into the location then the number will be assigned into the uh, this location that is assigning the parent as a root node here actually not a zero here it will be i right that is the thing so with this I conclude the insertion operation. So once you inserted, you have to apply the heap property uh, to make this uh, adjustment uh, to satisfy the heap property. So now your priority queue is having this one. So highest highest element, highest priority is 16 so in the priority queue and uh, lowest priority is 10, which is having the here, right? Thanks for watching.